how can I edit out that one minute clip where I forgot to turn off my camera and I was picking my nose the entire time? Shot cut. About the easiest video editing software you'll ever, ever use, I promise. Let's do it. Hey guys, this is Barbos. Welcome to my channel, Barbos Gaming. Today I want to show you my program that I use to edit my video and to mix video with my audio and intro and everything. Um, it's completely free, 100% free. It's an open source program. It's called Shotcut. Some of you may have heard of it. It is the easiest program I have ever used. So first off, you're going to want to go to go on the Google A and the website is shotcutapp.com once you get to the page you're going to click and download it you're going to get it installed I already have it installed once you get it installed you want to open it up alright once you get it opened up First thing you want to do is you want to add your timeline, which is going to be your audio and video. It's basically where you're going to assemble, you're going to assemble your video. So you want to add you an audio track. If you mix, if you mix your audio separately, or if you record your audio separately in your video, which I do, um, you're going to add a video track, and then I'm going to add a second video track because I have my intro uh, that I add in. To the video. Alright, once you have your timeline created, all you're gonna do is open file. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna do my intro first. I have everything on my desktop somewhere. Alright, there's my intro. Alright, all you're gonna do is you're gonna take and click the video preview, you're gonna click and drag. And you're gonna drag it down to your timeline and drop it. All right. Same thing for your next video. You're gonna open file, and there it is. Same thing. It's gonna open up. Just click and drag. I'm going to offset it over here because I want it to start after my intro. Because if you line it up with your intro, it's not it's not gonna be pretty. So. Um, and then you have your audio, same thing, open file, you want to find your audio file, open it, click and drag. Hey guys, this is Barbara, so welcome to do it. Alright, now you have your timeline assembled. Um, so, basically... You got your intro that plays first. And then after your intro's over, then it cuts to your audio and your other video. Alright, so, next thing you're probably wondering is, well, what if I got a section of the video that I, I, don't, I don't want in there because I wasted the time or I was transitioning between my camera and something else and I need to cut out that part of my video. It is as simple as this. All you're going to do is you're going to get to that point in your video. I'm just going to pick a random spot because this is actually my final project I'll put together. Um, all you're going to do is you're going to find that spot wherever you're at. Be sure you're selected on your audio or video, whichever one you're going to be uh, splitting. And then all you're going to do is once you're in that the interval in your video where you need to be, you're going to come over to this button here, and you're going to click Split at Playhead or the shortcut key S, and simply hit S, and then as you see, it splits it up into two pieces. So you're going to want to select your audio, and you're going to want to do the same here. That way your audio matches up with your video. So again, you're going to click Split at Playhead. Now it splits your audio up. So say, say you got a period of, about, of five seconds that you don't want. You can either click and drag or you can change it up in the timer up here. 
however you decide to do it. So all you're going to do is go to that section of your video that you want cut. Same thing. You're going to split the playhead, which is this button here again, or you can click S. And it splits it up again. And then you want to select your video. Uh, go figure. You want to select your video file, or your the clip of your video that you want to split, and same thing, split it playhead. Now, this whole section here, you just want to get rid of it. You don't need it. All you're going to do is you're going to, the shortcut key is uh, X, and what that does is basically it deletes whatever section of your video that you have selected and it moves the rest of your video following that moves it to the left and brings it together with the rest of your video because if you don't do that say if you just hit delete it's going to delete that and you're going to have just a bunch of nothingness for video so what you want to do and if you do make an error in this, it's just simply control Z to fix it. And all you're gonna do is you're gonna click uh, you're gonna click X and watch what X does. When you click X, it deletes that section of the video that I had and it brings the rest of my video over with the beginning part of my video. That way it doesn't mess up any part of the video. You're gonna want to go down to your to your uh, audio file, same thing. X brings it all together, and as you can see, it cuts. Brings together nice and smoothly. Okay, so now the next part is uh, say if you want, say if you want to add uh, text to your video. Say you're trying to, you want to actually illustrate something and be able for people to understand you so you want the text to show up on the screen like you see in a lot of videos so what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to select that part of your video so say if you want to start the text here what you're going to do is you're going to split it playhead again and then you want it to last to you want the text to show up on the screen until here and you're going to split it the playhead again and you're only doing this for your video file because this is only text displaying on the screen. You don't need to touch your audio file here. So once you get that split, you want to select the portion of the video that you want the text to show up as. And you're going to come over to the top left of the screen here. And you're going to want to be sure that filters is selected. And you're going to click add. And then this screen will pop up and it has a favorites filter. Um, and then your video filters and then audio filters. Well, you want video filters, of course. You can either do 3D text, or if you just want old fashioned, just regular text, you can click here. An entire, the text box will take, take up the entire screen. You can simply take a corner and click and drag to where you want, and it'll also resize the text for you at the same time. So, say you want it there. And you want it to show up in the middle of the screen at the top. It is as simple as now the time code will actually pop up by default. Um, you can simply just go in here in the text box and highlight it, delete it, and type in whatever text you want, and it automatically shows up. Say so if you want it to be red, you can just click on the font color there and change it to red. And say if you want to give it a little bit of not background, so if you want to get a little bit of outline, you want it to be blue, change that to there, and all you're going to do is simply adjust your thickness for your text for that blue to show up with the red for your outline. And that part is as simple as that. So you're going to go back to prior to your text just to sample it. As you see, the text pops up in this entire clip that you had cut and then it disappears, as simple as that. Now, say you want to add some more filters. There is a ton of filters to choose from, a bunch of filters. I'm still experimenting with some of them. Um, 
but some pretty basic ones. You've got your um, you've got your fade in, fade out for your video. So say if you want you want to fade out on your intro, all you do is simply select the part of the video that you want to be at and fade out. And then I want to go down here because I want my I want my video to fade in as it's starting the actual video outside of the intro. So then you want to fade in. Come back here, preview it, and you see you got you a nice fade out and a nice fade in. Very, very simple. I, like I said, this, this program could not be any easier to use. It was extremely easy. I was able to teach myself. Um, it's, it's so much easier than a lot of the other programs out there, and it does just the same. All right, now say you're happy with your video and you say, I'm done, you know, this, I, want, I want this, I want to finalize it, this is it, I'm, I'm done. All right, so now you want, to, you want to be able to export your video into one file and put it all together nicely. So what you're going to do is you're going to come over here to the export tab. The settings that I recommend are, you want to go to, these are a list of uh, presets. Um, you want to come down to the 264 high profile, and if you want to record in 1080, you're obviously going to change it to 1080p resolution. So mine's already set to that, 1920 by 1080. Your aspect ratio is 16 to 9 frames per second. If you're going to YouTube, you want it to be 30. Um, your scan mode is progressive. Um, that basically that that lays all of your clips together without any intervals in between each clip. Um, your field order, it's just by default bottom field first. Um, and that's your basic setting and your format. MP4 always does just fine, but if you need to change to a different video file, they literally have, they support a ton of video formats. So you're going to want it to MP4. You're going to want to go over to codec and make sure the X264 is selected. Your rate control, you're gonna want quality, quality based. And I always bump the quality up to, I always bump it up a little bit, 70%. And then for audio, this the, you usually don't have to touch this unless you're doing something special. Um, I usually keep the all this, this, your sample rate and your codec and everything, that's usually gonna stay the same. So then you're done. You want to put that video all together in one nice video. All you have to do is once you have all your selections made, you're going to want to go to export file. And you're going to want to name your file. Just test video. And you're going to just be sure you have it selected properly. I'll just throw mine here on the desktop. That way I know where it is test video and save and over here at the top right in the job section you will see that your video has popped up here and has started its thing <clears throat> it'll usually take a few minutes obviously the longer the video and the more of a job there is to do the longer it's going to take we'll come back to this when it's done that way we can take a look at the final product all right guys welcome back as you can see here once it's done it will just say done you're going to want to go to your location where you saved the video. As you can see, it popped up on my desktop here. And it will play it. Everything comes together quite nicely, usually. So that's it, guys. Um, like I said, Shotcut, go and get it, completely free. Has everything that you'll need for your basic and somewhat advanced uh, video needs. Um, I, I use it all the time, I love it. I would highly, highly recommend it to anybody. Don't forget to drop a like, comment, and subscribe on my page. If you like this video, show me some love, guys. Show me some love. Alright guys, until next time, this is Barbaros with Barbaros Gaming. Take care.